Sunday today. Do I see snow? No. Um, it is actually snowing and sunny simultaneously. Well, 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 I didn't expect that. And it's coming down even heavier now. Well, I need to go to Tesco today because Izzy is going back to college tomorrow. And so, of course, now I've got to get packed lunch stuff, haven't I? But I have a little shopping list. Here in the UK, in case you don't know, supermarkets tend to shut at four o'clock on a Sunday. So I've got to get down there before it shuts. And I think I'm going to leave about three to get there for the last hour because I'm hoping it won't be too crowded. But let's see, shall we? I really want to go and play my flute now, but I'm starving. So I'm going to have a quick... So I'm going to have a quick sneaky snack before I go down and play. A quick top up of energy to keep me going without having to stop and cook anything. These almonds are not good. They're horrible. I just opened the packet. I got them from Asda. They are not good. I've never had these before. I always get the little ones and they're delicious. Mmm. And just like that, as if by magic, an hour has passed and I've had a very, very lovely time in my cellar playing my flute. But right now, I've got to go to Tesco's. Made it into Tesco's. Izzy particularly wanted one of these. Oh, no, the vegetarian ones. But they're £2.50, but for another 50p, she can have a drink and a snack with it as well. So I'm just going to get her that. I grabbed her a bottle of Fanta and I'll find some chocolate or crisps or something now. These are all the options, look. It's loads. These are the options that anything with meal deal written on it. Right, I better get a move on. I just went to use my wired headphones with this phone for the first ever time and I discovered it hasn't got a headphone socket. I would like to, if I can find something affordable, get some kind of earphones to use with my phone. I've got these great big chunky orange ones that go over your head, but I don't want to use those. They're not really my style. I don't mind for the house, but I don't want to wear them out. Hmm. Ah, oh, here's the section. I'll have a little look now. I'm gonna go the whole hog and get the 25 quid ones because it'll be worth it. I'll get a lot of use out of them. They're reduced though. Right, food, because the shop's gonna shut. Looking for lunchbox stuff. She does like pork pies, my daughter does. 85p. I accidentally gave her lemon juice the other day and she was okay. But I guess if I can avoid it, I probably should. Oh, looks all right, okay. I'm doing a very rubbish job of finding ham. It's been so long since I got any. I can't remember where it is. I've been up this aisle already. Um... <laughs> oh, I don't remember. I wondered if I missed it. It's so crowded in here. People are just actually not in this aisle at the moment, which is good. Oh, what's this? No, I, I looked at that last time. That's bacon. Can't put that in a sandwich. Well, not raw. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna have to stop filming and just rush through because the shop is shut in in 15 minutes. So I'll show you what I got when I get home. Phew, managed it in time. Isabel rang, of course. She always rings up and asks for stuff when I'm out shopping and interrupts me. I'm back from Tesco's. That was crowded. Remind me not to go at that time of day. On a Sunday ever again, Isabel's just unpacking the stuff. That's for me. Yes. Gummy, at least you got me something, Gummy. Isabel rang up and wanted gummy bears and I said no, because I was at the checkout and I'd already got a chocolate. Pork pies. I'm going to go and charge these because I want to go for a walk soon after I eat lunch, because I haven't had lunch yet. And it's 20 past four and I'm starting to get quite hungry. Yeah, so I'm going to charge these up and then hopefully go for a walk whilst listening to music on my phone. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the shopping haul, Izzy? Okay. Yeah! Do you want to do it and hold the camera or do you want me to no, film you? you? Can film me. Right, okay, let's just get the get hand held. Here. I have high standards. Well, well, they're not that, are you? Putting it in with all the dirty washing up? No, it's in for camera. I, I need a cameraman. Oh, well, sorry, you've only got me. So here we have the Coke with the Pepsi Max, but Coke and Pepsi Max count as the same thing, really. Well, I prefer Pepsi. Have some corn cakes. They're low fat, because mum's trying to lose weight. <laughs> I've lost two pounds already, I'll have you know. I've been Double very good. Cream. That's for you, because you want to make a cheesecake. 
A tiny one. A tiny but one. But we didn't get cream cheese like I put on the list, so I don't know if I, I can. I didn't see it on the list. I did put it on the list. Oh, I didn't see toilet roll on the list, and I wrote it, so I didn't get oh. toilet roll either. Got meat-free sausages, which one? These are the best ones. They're so yummy. They have this, presumably for mum. Oh, it's your meal deal. Ooh, the meal deal. Yeah, it's a back to college treat. We have this, which is also for my pack lunch. Uh, no, it's <laughs> Just eat it out the bag, a nice healthy snack. Yeah, it's for the store cupboard, because I keep running out and they're not wanting to go to shops that sell it. It's dark and rich. Yes. Is it expensive? I am mega stocked up, so I got two lavasses the other day. Got ham that's all slanted to one side. That's for your pack lunches. Well, obviously, because you don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. These bad boys. Well, they were on offer, they were £1.25, so I thought, well, you have to eat your breakfast on the go these days, going to college, yes. so you can just shove one of these in the back. These are all like the same thing, these are like all the same thing both sides, and then it's just randomly a chicken. Looks very <laughs> out of place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pies, which I really like. This, which reminds me of a happier time, not COVID. Fanta. That was part of the three pound meal deal. I guess that. Penguins, probably friends with the chicken. <laughs> well, rooster, I'm sorry. Is it a cockerel or a rooster? But Americans call it roosters, don't they? Yes. I remember that because in Annie, there's a guy called a rooster and he went, Oh yeah. <laughs> he came in. It's mini cheddars, the red Leicester. The for the lunchbox. A big old cucumber. We've got some cucumber left, but you do go through it, so I'll I like another one. cucumber. Cucumber, I could eat it all in one sitting. Yes, I, I know, know, I remember. Let's not talk about that. The cucumber incident. Chris. Moving swiftly on. Yes. And it says, when life gives you potatoes, make crisps. And I'm pretty sure that was said by Albert Einstein. It's a very famous quote. Really? really? No. No, I didn't think so either. Is that the lot then? No, we also got this! I could just eat, like... No, you're not going to because it's for your packed lunches. I mean, I don't see the harm in having, like, that much since there's all this much we're probably not oh, going to Oh, you can have a bit. Thanks. You can have a bit. Isabel's got a bit of a history of plague of locusting all the packed lunch ingredients before it makes it into the packed lunch. Thanks. And sabotage is my efforts to provide. Um, talking of plague of locusting, I've made myself a brie and salad roll. Isabel is helping. She's putting the shopping away for me. <laughs> oh, nice. What a dramatic flourish. Not coming out! <laughs> I've just very annoyingly discovered that I wasn't charging these headphones. They have these little sticky things over the bit where it actually makes contact in the case. Why is that one flashing? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so it looks like you charge them in the case. I have never had these sorts of things before, so I'm just kind of fiddling around with it, trying to figure it out. Um, it looks like there's plenty of charge on them, look, because it's usually like four, isn't it? When it's full, I reckon that's going to be fine. Right then, let's see if I can figure out how to pair them up. I wonder how you switch them on. Do they have an on button? They don't look like they've got an on button. Um, <laughs> maybe sometime. Apparently they're on. My, I went into the Bluetooth bit of the settings. It found it. I just pressed on it. It was like, add this device. And it then a little voice came out and said, connected. So it's definitely working. Hey, this is good. It started to rain. I was about to film the raindrops in the river, but I think it's actually stopped. Oh, that was quick. Good. I'm enjoying my music anyway. I've just taken one out to vlog a minute. It's in my bag. Yeah, very good. It's a bit weird though, being disconnected from things in the real world. Could do with like an extra mic on the headphones so you can hear what's going on as well. Or have an option, you know, switch it on and off whether or not you want to be aware of your surroundings. I think that would be a good innovation on in-ear headphones. Yes. I'm back, just looking at my steps app. Look, that's my average per day at the moment, 11,810. And that's how many I've done today. 
See, I'm on a mission, a mission. And it's very sunny and I can't see you at all. Oh, that's a bit better. I'm at the other end of the sofa now. Um, Isabel's got college tomorrow. How are you feeling, Is? Okay. Yeah, are you excited? No. I might give the house a good clean. I might do. Not that I couldn't do it before, but I don't know, it's just symbolic of a new start, isn't it? A new chapter. I wonder how long you'll be in for before they decide to change the regulations again. I think two weeks. Two weeks? Is that what you think? No, I think they're going to wait until after the GCSEs are done and then I think they'll, they'll stop us. Oh no, well you may be right, who knows? We, they can't do the GCSEs at home because people will probably cheat. Yeah, that's right. Especially maths. Yes. Even you can't really cheat, I mean you can, but it's more difficult to cheat because a lot of it is opinion based. Mm. But on maths, like there's a specific formula, so I suspect if people had the option they would cheat on it. Yeah, you could be right. It's very easy to just look it up online, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go and sort my footage out and then play my flute again and then I shall get back to you. Hello, it's about 5 to 11 at night. Izzy's in bed. And this is all the stuff I've been doing. I didn't play my flute because I just ran out of time. Izzy and I were hungry, so I cooked and ate dinner. And then after that was editing and then I put a machine load on and hung them out to dry on the radiators. Not the best thing for making the house damp, I know. But anyway, I did it. This isn't one of them actually, but I printed off some past papers for Isabel. One maths and one English, so she can do some offline revision while she's commuting to and from college and also in any free periods or whatever. She's not going to be reliant on the internet for that. So if she's hanging around at all, she can use the time. Because obviously, with a bit of a commute and having to revise, it's a bit awkward. So hopefully that will be compatible with that. I've tidied the kitchen up, run the dishwasher, well running the dishwasher, cleaned the cooker because it didn't half need doing, done these couple of bits of washing up. I am so enjoying not having to do much washing up. You can't imagine how happy that is making me. I've assembled a bit of a packed lunch for Isabel. I, I'm not sure if it looks too much or not enough to be honest but she's going to be gone all day until the evening so really it's kind of three meals worth except it's just too much to carry so she might end up buying stuff as well so she's gonna have a bit of money to top up as well if if she eats it all when she's still hungry don't normally buy a pot but it's her first day back treat she'll normally take water in a water bottle but she's gonna drink that and then top it up from a water fountain at college so she just have that first just so she doesn't have to carry two bottles um there's a pork pie and her favorite uh, Tesco's feta and semi-dried tomato pasta with no mayonnaise she loves that so that's a going back to college treat some cornflakes for breakfast but she'll probably tuck into that more like for breakfast that's more her kind of thing avocado for good measure the Kit Kat there was literally two Kit Kats in that thing I thought that's an awful lot to give her so I'm splitting it up over two days back of crisps in case she's you know gets hungry mini cheddars and in here is a salad it's a, there's no dressing on it, she can just pick it out with her fingers and eat it whenever she feels like. She sort of dip in throughout the day, you know, on a few occasions. So, yeah, that's all going to go in a bag now and go in the fridge for her to take in the morning. But if you've enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a like? It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you tomorrow for Izzy's day back at college.